Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and today I have the 4x2 Wild Track from Autohub. Huge shout out to you guys. And today I brought this to Antipolo. Yay! You want to see some scenery of Antipolo? As you know, uh, coming to Antipolo, it requires some power for you to go up because it's like quite mountainous. And this one, rear wheel drive, yeah, it has a single turbo, but it does have the torque, you know. So it is quite easy for you to get up here. But if you press it a bit too hard, the wheels are gonna spin. But it doesn't make the car or the truck go out of control. As of now, my mic is a bit awkward but anyway such a nice car in this white color and let me show you again the front yeah so we were four in the car and it didn't lack power so that's very important it's so guapo just look at that awesome and it was raining a lot yesterday so it did go through a lot of rain but still it doesn't look that dirty i love this color it's really nice blue is also nice though this is a diesel car but the truck is not so noisy especially in the inside that's what i really like about it so how do you differentiate a wild truck from normal rangers these two hooks you will just see a single one if it's not a wild truck of course when you get to the back you'll know it's also a wild truck how do you know if it's a bi turbo it will say bi turbo so when you get here it says it says wild track and it doesn't say 4x4 four four, so that's how you differentiate the two and what i like is trunk assist easy peasy even for a thin guy like me and power sources wall charger type and the 12 volt really easy to drive because this is not as huge as a raptor so it's a really great car and what i really like is having this huddle lamp they really do make the car look so poggy at night time you see how bright your car is because of this puddle lamp it is really bright and it's not only on this side it's also on the other side show negative just the uh, numbers okay but it is showing the ranger going down and you can hear the tire squeaking or singing okay very tight if you fall in that area we are dead this is how your wild track looks nice it looks so beautiful and as I've mentioned this is beautiful huh so I can open the other one mm -hmm. the wild track 
is bright everywhere thanks to the puddle lamp and the LED light and the back looks like that the plate number lights are in LED as well LEDs but here are halogens that's how nice it is Annyeong everyone we are driving the wild trap 4x2 single turbo during this night time what can I say about the wild trap 4x2 this one costs a bit over 1.5 million 1.579 million when the excise tax comes in this is higher than a million so we are expecting 20 percent increase in the price so before that happens please do purchase your pickup before it turns into a low rear wheel drive 167 horsepower and 405 newton as compared to 500 Newton for the bi-turbo. So how does the six speed compare with the 10 speed? So many people like say, oh, there are lots of problems in the 10 speed as compared to the six. So some people might like this setup more than others. So we're gonna drive it around. I'm gonna give you my impression on how it feels in the drive. How convenient how quiet well I have driven this for 200 kilometers and what I can say is definitely it stands out in the crowd from the outside the moment people see it they get wowed wow and then when they get inside they get wow 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 wow, wow. thanks to this 12 inch touchscreen right here that has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Although this 4x2 version doesn't come with 360 camera, you do still get the clear rear view camera. So it's actually nice. So going over the humps, there you go in 10. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet. This one has 18 inch rims with good size tires that are quiet very quiet but the this is rear wheel drive and with the high torque engine like this you can see that the tail actually likes to waggle like that it's quite easy to make the rear wheel sing like a sports car <laughs> but this is a pickup truck but it can drive fast although it doesn't have the matrix led headlight system it is still very bright in this led setup you'll see how quiet it is later when i floor it i'm not gonna talk so you guys can hear the grunt of the engine you see a lift spring at the back this is like one of the best uh suspension setups out there It's that quiet. The sound you will hear are the wind noise coming from the wind, uh, the side mirrors. But other than that, uh, and like this, so even though you drive it this uphill, as long as you are over the RPM and then the turbo kicks in, it will just propel the car or the pickup truck really well, really well. Braking is also superb. The ride is well assisted by this electronic steering wheel. And this is a very intelligent pickup truck. And then, of course, the air condition, the seat material, the lumbar support, this auto dimming room mirror, this huge frameless uh, side mirrors. It really gets the job done. And the Bluetooth system, the entertainment or the infotainment, really easy to connect. Okay, here we go. So going up, really you just floor it, it will just go. 
go 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 I just wish that this one will extend just like the Everest but other than that this is good and then this variant doesn't have adaptive cruise control it doesn't have blind spot monitoring so if we can upgrade this like by just changing the tail lamp the one with the radar and also changing the side mirror the one with the LED lights then I hope we can upgrade this one then it will just add more safety so I hope that Ford will give us that option to add on that safety system after all it's about safety adjust temperature to 23 setting temperature to 23 degrees Yon. so the voice command for this sync 4 is absolutely accurate a lot more accurate when you compare it with other brands and then uh, it has like so many nice convenient features like this uh, cup holders which are very well hidden this compartments here double decker and what else I really like is how soft this center console is really soft really really soft it's not just like a single layer of uh, soft material it is like a fat double a layer of soft material the screen here by the way it's really huge great resolution but uh, just like other vehicles that has this kind of infotainment setup that has like a lot of um, combination with the aircon and radio and everything it will lag a little to tell you honestly it will lag a bit so that is something that you would expect from a car like this the light let me show you how bright it is by turning it off but it's a bit bright here already so that's off then park light the headlight that's auto and with the fog lamp okay fog lamp off fog lamp on fog lamp off fog lamp on okay here we go you will enjoy your ride because this pickup drives a lot better than SUVs I can't believe that and it is a bit bouncy yes but then you don't hear the sound as uh, loud I think the cabin is very quiet because of how well the car is insulated that is why even though when you hit the potholes you will feel less of the impact because audibly you won't hear it that much and also uh, when you feel it in your butt you will not also feel it that much most probably thanks to the suspension tuning and the perfect size for the rims and then when you turn on the radio the sound is also very well done it is not the top top spec like in premium brands but still it can deliver so when I do high beam okay three two okay there's somebody I should not do high beam now later I will show you the high beam it's really bright as well so when you do turn signal that's the sound so in the next uh, Raptor we'll be seeing the full blown instrument cluster unlike this one with ha which has 8 inch but then this one also has a few drive modes like normal echo tow and slippery so I've only been driving this in normal but so far I'm not having problems in controlling the car because this has so much power right and I don't know how it will perform also when it has load in the truck bed usually uh, pickups you will need to have some load for you to have the best uh, ride comfort although this is a long vehicle in this t6.2 we have shorter overhangs the wheelbase has become longer and a bit this one has the width became wider so do I feel that there's a significant amount of improvement in the ride comfort 
or driving I'm not sure but definitely having short overhangs will help in the off-road situation but in driving on normal roads I guess this has almost a similar driving from the previous version but then the feeling is different because you know that this is a very handsome vehicle even especially during this night time and also the inside looks nice as you can see here right so please do purchase your pickup before the price increases as long as the unit landed here before the excise tax for pickup becomes a law it will still have the same price so if that happens please do grab your chance while you can let's go okay here we go see uh, this uh, C5 road imperfection is nothing for the Ranger wild truck 4x2 automatic transmission 1,569,000 pesos SRP you see the high beam boom you see high beam boom <laughs> The high beam is awesome and just look at this uh, acceleration. Wow, really fun to drive but you have to be responsible because this one has lesser ADA system than the top spec wild truck. Okay, going up, easy. Easy. High beam. This is the quality of the reverse camera. Here we go. There are sensors. I turned it off. Let's see. And then. And then. And then I show you how strong the light is. Okay. And high beam. Boom. High beam. Boom. Nice. Okay. Yeah, definitely driving a rear wheel drive vehicle is fun but uh, just be careful when you are driving it uh, on wet roads because you will have real sleep now what's my verdict Ranger is a proven pickup it is one of the most favored pickup trucks here in the Philippines and many are always dreaming to get the Raptor and then after you get the Raptor an F-150 so this is a well sought after car or pickup truck that looks nice that fits in your garage that fits in the the road conditions of the Philippines so definitely this is a nice car but if you have more money and you want some more of those automated uh, driver assist system then you might want to go for the high end or the highest end or the top spec wild truck 4x4 so I've tried both uh, although this is single turbo uh, I don't see the big difference from the bi turbo but then I'm sure uh, it does drive or have more power since the 4x4 option would have more um, weight so for it to carry the weight by turbo is a significant factor and for this one being a 4x2 and I guess even though it has a single turbo it can still work as well as a 4x4 in terms of power delivery I hope you guys enjoyed the video Thank you again, Auto Hub and Ford Global City. Please do contact Mr. Jericho with more than 22 years of Ford experience. And please do mention Soldier Cars that you may get your freebies. Okay, with that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong.